Hello and welcome to therevitkid.com. Today I'm going to show a quick tip that seems pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't realize some of the things that can help you align views when they are placed on sheets. So what I have here is a simple project and there's a sheet placed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more sheet. So I'm just going to right click and say new sheet. Now I have two sheets. You'll notice on this first sheet, I have a floor plan. So let's say I want to align this floor plan with a second floor plan. So if I place my second floor here, make sure they're the same scale. And now I want to make sure I can align this plan with this plan. So for those of you who may have tried this in the past, you might have done something simple um, like creating detail lines on these sheets. So if I create a detail line here and I copy and paste it to the other sheets, well, that can be kind of cumbersome if you have a ton of sheets, right? So what I want to do is show you how to use the guide grid the way I use it and then how to snap to the guide grid. So what I'm going to do is on my properties window on the left hand side, I'm going to select guide grid and you can notice it says none. So what we need to do is navigate to our view tab and select guide grid. Now we're going to create a, a new guide grid. So I'm going to name this one left corner. Maybe you want to name it a grid intersection or something more specific, but I'm just going to use left corner for right now. Maybe I'll use left bottom corner, be a little more descriptive. Now you notice what it's going to do is make this giant grid. And this is cool because you could use the grid. You can actually uh, select the grid. You can actually snap it. So you could actually move the grid to, to meet um, your needs. But the one thing that's overwhelming with this is if you go to another sheet, how do you find the correct grid intersection? So what I typically do is I'll reduce the, the spacing or increase the spacing to something like maybe two inches or more, depending on the size of your sheets. And what I, what I end up doing is actually locating where I want the corner of my building to be. So maybe it wants to be this grid intersection. And I'll actually shrink my grid so that all I'm seeing is the intersection I want to use for the alignment. So now you'll see right there, I have this box. Remember this doesn't print. And now I have just the intersection I need. So if I go to my second sheet and I say, I wanna view my guide grid. So I'm in the properties window and say left bottom corner. You'll notice it's right there. It makes it a lot easier instead of going through all of these grids to figure out where you wanna be. So now the cool thing about this using a grid is that if you select a view, you can use the move command. And you'll notice I'm actually able to select my grids in my view. And now I can actually move those grids and place them aligned right there. Now let's say you don't have any grids. Well, for, for example, maybe on residential or something like that. Um, a lot of times what I've noticed people doing and I've even done this in the past before realizing it is that I've actually just kind of moved the corner of the building and kind of made it as close as possible. And then when you go to the second floor, you have to do the same thing. But of course, if I went to that and I moved it, it's not quite as close as you'd want it to be. You're still kind of guessing a little bit. So what do you do? Well, in the sheet view, I'm going to hop back to my first, first uh, sheet. In the sheet view, you actually have the ability to select a certain amount of things um, from the sheet within the view. So if I select my, my view and I click move, you'll notice I actually can snap to my grids, but I can't snap to my walls. The other thing I can snap to is my crop regions if they're visible, which is kind of cool, but for the most part, I think that's kind of kind of useless because your crop regions, for them to be exactly the same in every view is not always um, likely, maybe if you're using scope views or something like that. But the other thing that you can snap to is actually reference planes. So let me move this view. I'm going to activate the view and I'm actually going to draw two reference planes. And so I actually drew two reference planes that represent the corners. So if I select them and I isolate them, you'll see I have two reference planes there. If you want, you can name these and lock these reference planes so they stay. But if you remember, reference planes can go between different views so you can see them in the first floor and the second floor. But now if I select my view from the sheet and I click move, I can actually lock to the corner of those reference planes. 
So again, there's a certain amount of things that you can actually pick through a view. Uh, grids, levels if you're in an elevation, um, reference planes, and crop regions. There might be a few others, but those are, those are some of the key ones. But now I can actually take the corner of this building, I can use the move command, and I can align it right here. And if I go to my second floor, I can do the same thing because those reference planes are showing up. I can click move, and now I can actually lock it to the corner. So now on my first sheet, if I fit it in my second sheet, you notice that these views, I'm gonna tile the windows for you. These views are perfectly aligned on these sheets. So there's a couple tips for you. The first one is shrinking the guide grid for something that you need. And of course you can make different guide grids for different sheets. And the second one is if you don't have grids to use for aligning, uh, add some reference planes. Uh, this this again can apply for can apply to elevations um, if you want. If I put a, put a south elevation on here, the one the cool thing with elevations is if I click move, I can actually select the level, and I can also select the grids and the reference planes. So that's our pro tip for today: using reference planes, using grids um, to align sheets within a guide grid. So I hope that helps, and um, feel free to reach out. Talk to you guys later.